In this video, I'm going to go over the Emails tab of the MemberPress settings. To get started, go to MemberPress on the left sidebar of WordPress, Settings, and the Emails tab. MemberPress lets you send out emails to your users, to yourself as a site's administrator, or to any other admins on your site based on certain triggers or when certain things happen, such as when a user signs up. To start, I'm going to scroll down to Send Mail From. This section lets you set the name and email that will show up when your emails are sent. These are auto-populated based on the general page of your WordPress settings, but you can change them here if you want. You can change your name or even email to any other email addresses that you have if you don't want to use the one set up on your WordPress settings. Also, you could use a third-party mailing system for your emails, so see the Send Mail From section on the Configuring the Emails tab page on our Knowledge Base for more info. Now, moving on. If I scroll back up to the top, I'll see a section for Member Notices. These are all the different types of emails that are sent out to your members. I won't go over every single one here, but if you need to know when a particular email is sent, you can click here and see. The first, Send Welcome Email, will send this email when a user signs up for your site. And Send Payment Receipt will send them an email receipt of their payment along with it when they sign up and pay. You'll also see emails that will be sent out when a user cancels, downgrades, upgrades, pauses, or resumes a subscription. Now, you can choose to not send out an email when any of these events occur by unchecking this box here next to each email. Before I go further, I want to go over these buttons here, Edit, Send Test, and Reset to Default. If you click Edit next to each email, it'll open the editor. Here, you can change what appears in the subject and body of each email. You can choose to edit visually, or you can use the text editor. You can change, add, or delete any text that you see here. You'll also notice these here, which are referred to as parameters. These parameters insert dynamic content that's specific to users into your emails. So, for example, instead of displaying this here, it'll actually display the user's username in the email that's sent to them. Here, under this dropdown, you can see a list of parameters you can insert into your email. Just click where you want it to insert in the editor, select what you want from the dropdown, and click Insert. You can also replace an existing parameter by highlighting it in the editor, selecting your new parameter, and clicking Insert. See our Support Docs page on the full list of email parameters to see more detail about what each one is. If you edit the email at any point and want to reset it to its default email, you can just click Reset to Default here. One more thing when you open the editor. You'll see this checkbox here for Use Default Template. It'll be checked by default. With this checked, your email will be wrapped in the default template that MemberPress provides, which looks like this. You can uncheck this option if you don't want to use this template in styling. Now, I'll go ahead and click Hide Editor, and here you'll notice another button, Send Test. This will send a test email to you as the site's admin so you can see what the email will look like. It'll send these test emails to the email or emails that you have set as your admin email addresses, which I'll go over later. Now, the last three types of emails that can be sent to your users are when a transaction is refunded, a transaction fails, and when a credit card is about to expire. I'll click Edit on the credit card expiring, and you'll see that it alerts a user when their credit card is going to expire before their next billing date. And it uses the parameters to fill in the user's credit card expiration date here. Now, when clicking Edit on all the emails on this page, you'll see that MemberPress has a default email for every type of email that can be sent, so it's not at all necessary to make any changes to any of these emails if you don't want to. Before I move on to the other types of emails on this page, I want to show you one type of parameter that can be useful to you. For this example, I'll click Edit next to my welcome email and click the dropdown here. You'll see this parameter here, User Meta. This lets you insert content specific to your users using custom fields that you have set up in the Fields tab of your MemberPress settings. See our video and Support Docs page on custom fields for a full tutorial on creating and using custom fields. So, I'll go into my Fields tab here at the top. For my sample site, I have a radio button custom field set up to collect a user's preferred birthday gift at sign up. It's set to Require and Show at Sign Up. So a user has to choose one of these gifts on my registration page to sign up. They also must enter their birthday to sign up as well, which you can see here by my custom date field, which is named birthday. So I'll go back to my emails tab. And just as an example, here when editing my welcome email, I want to let users know that they'll get the gift they selected on their birthday. 
So at the end of this text, I want to insert their preferred gift. So I'm just going to click this drop down and select this parameter here, user meta. This asterisk here will be replaced with a slug generated for my preferred birthday gift. So I'll go back into the fields tab and see the slug here for my field. I'll go back to the emails tab and enter that slug here in place of the asterisk. Then I'll click update options to save everything. Now I went ahead and did a test sign up on one of my registration pages and here's what that email looks like. One note, to test these custom fields in your emails, be sure to do a test sign up to see if the custom fields are working. They won't show up if you simply use the send test button to send a test email. Okay, now moving on to the other types of emails on the emails tab. This next section pertains to emails that can be sent to you or any other admins on your site. In this field, you can enter your email that you want these emails to be sent to, and you can also enter any other email to send them to as well, separated by commas. Again, this can include any other admin on your site. And one note about this. Something that's a good common practice is to make sure this admin email you use here and your from email are different. This is mostly because some SNTP services won't allow these to be the same. It's typically not a big deal, but just in case, it's usually good to have these two email addresses be different. You could change the from email and leave the admin email to be whatever is by default, or you can change both of them. You could have your from email be support at your domain or outreach at your domain or something like that, and your admin email address could be admin at your domain. It's up to you. It could be any email that you want, but they have to be real email addresses that exist and not ones that you just make up and enter. Now, when sending a test email for any emails on this page, these test emails will be sent to all the emails you enter here next to admin email addresses, so just keep that in mind when sending tests. So, real quick to show you what one of these emails looks like, I'll click Send Test next to New Signup Notice. Then, I'll go to my email and see it here. One thing to note, when you use the Send Test button, the test emails will be auto-populated with fake John Doe test data. And if you use any use a meta parameters, they'll be left blank as the send test option doesn't populate custom fields, but they'll work when a real user joins. Now, going back to the emails tab, once again, you'll see a variety of emails that can be sent to you as the site admin. It has all the features of the emails above we just went over. You can click this icon here to bring up an explanation of what each one of these emails are. Again, be sure to click update options here at the bottom to save any changes you make to your emails. And real quick, one other option you'll see is this here, Include Privacy Policy Link. If you enable this, all of your emails will include a link to your privacy policy in the email's footer. See our knowledge base on how to set up your privacy policy page. If you go to the WordPress settings here on the left sidebar and Privacy, you can see options to create a privacy policy page or to use an existing page on your site. And that's it, a basic overview of the Emails tab in the MemberPress settings. See our knowledge base for more information on member press emails. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting member press up and running a breeze.